Hi kids, it's time for a read aloud. We have a special book this week. It's called A Ball for Daisy. Now this is a special book. This book has no words. So we have to use our imagination with this book. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as I will. The author's name is Chris Roscoff. Front cover, back cover, and spine. Let's start with vocabulary words. Now these are objects you're gonna see in the story. Sofa, deflated. Oh, look at his face. Whoops, here it is. Caring, share. And our last one, feelings. Oh, we all have feelings. Even animals have feelings. Let's get started. Today we're going to do a walk through. So let's just go look at the pages. And I want you to think about the pictures you see. A ball for Daisy. Oh, look at the doggy. Is that good right there, Miss Mary? Yes. All right. We want to make sure you see the pictures. Oh, look at the dog, my friends. I think the dog likes to play with the red ball. What do you think? Bouncing, bouncing everywhere. Watch the dog play with the ball. Sleepy, tired, tired dog sleeping on the couch today. What do you think he was tired from? You're right, maybe playing with the ball. Running, running in the park. Having fun with the ball. And looking around, is that what he's doing? Let's see, I think you're right. Look, at, he's looking around the tree. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, look at here. He's running and he's running. I hope he doesn't get lost. Look, my friends. That's why when you're walking around with your parents, make sure you hold their hand. You need to keep safe. Uh-oh. Look at the doggy's face. Is the doggy sad? Is the doggy happy? Where's the red ball? How did it get over there? Oh my goodness! He has a friend. This is Daisy. Right, Miss Mary? Right. And Daisy has a new friend. I hope this is a nice friend. Uh oh, something happened here. Look, I wanted you to see this. Look what happened there. Is that happy or sad? Mm. Uh oh, look at the, the ball now. Look, look at the dog. Look at Daisy's face. What will Daisy do now? How is she going to play with the ball? Oh, look at Daisy. She's thinking and she's thinking. What would you do if your ball got deflated, friends? What would you do? How would you play with your ball? Does it still bounce? Uh-oh. That's her friend. I wonder what her friend's trying to do. Do you think her friend wants to give her a hug? Because she sees that Daisy's sad? Maybe, huh? I know I like having hugs when I'm sad. See here. Oh my goodness. He went back to the park. But Daisy doesn't look happy like before, does she? Daisy has feelings. Oh, look at Daisy's on the couch. But Daisy isn't playing with a ball anymore. Daisy's falling asleep. Oh, they went back to the park. Oh, look at there's that, that dog here, the brown dog. And look what color ball they have. I wonder what they're going to do with that ball. What do you think? You think they're going to share the ball? I hope so. I think that would make Daisy very happy. What do you think? Oh my goodness, look what's happening here. I see happy feelings. I see happy dogs. I see a blue ball bouncing. What do you see? Oh. 
Now here's a friend, they're walking this way, and here's Daisy walking this way. But look, what does Daisy have in her mouth? A red ball? No, a blue ball. How do you think she got a blue ball? Who do you think gave it to her? The end. Do you think Daisy's a happy dog now? Maybe, huh? Friends, I wanted to show you something and I hope you enjoyed the story. Tomorrow we're gonna use more words and more vocabulary words, okay? Here's Daisy at the park with her friend. And her friend has a blue ball and Daisy has a red ball. And here they are at the park and there's a butterfly, a tree, a bird, sun, cloud, and a bee. I wonder what's gonna happen in this story, my friends. Remember, animals have feelings just like you and me. So take care of your pets at home, okay? And be very nice to them, because they care and they love you too. Hopefully you'll enjoy the story tomorrow too. Have a beautiful day, and don't forget, have fun being you.